on to uh, example four, shall we? I think we shall. All right, so this one gets a little a little cray here at the end. I think you're gonna enjoy it thoroughly. So we have curved movement represented with cosine and with sine. We want to graph and convert to rectangular form. So we're going from zero to pi. How about we do um, some of our familiar trig values? How about zero? We'll go pi over two and pi. So now if I plug in zero um, for cosine, cosine of zero is one. One times five is five. Cosine of pi over two, that's gonna be zero times five is zero. And then for pi, that'd be negative one times five is negative five. Lovely. Now for sine, if I plug in zero, I get zero. Um, if I plug uh, pi over two in, I get one times three is three. And then for pi, it's zero again times three is zero. So I've got my ordered pairs of five, zero, zero, three, negative five, zero. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and graph this thing, shall we? So we'd have something like five out here, and then we'd have zero, three, and then negative five here. It's going to start here, kind of like half of an ovally looking shape, perhaps a, a little ellipsy part of it, right? If I were to curve that a little better down here at the start. Um, definitely not a, doesn't look like it would necessarily be a circle, right? Um, because it's not even, but I mean, who knows? Maybe there's more to it than we know. Um, let's see here. Let's, how about we convert now um, to rectangular form? Um, now this is going to be a curveball on a left field for you to be like, okay, well, how the heck am I going to do that? Like, am I going to use like inverse trig, but then like that's messy. How about this, right? I'm a, I'm a I'm going to throw one at you here. So let's say um, we could square both sides of an equation, right? So, so, so bear with me. If I, if I square both sides of the equation, I've got a cosine squared and a sine squared. And when we're uh, dealing with systems of equations, if we, because we've been doing substitution, right? Um, if you were to add your equations together, kind of like you do for elimination method, well, if I have a cosine squared and a sine squared, when I add those together, I get a one, okay? So I want to jot that down. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one. Or in this case, we have T, right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to take X equals five cosine T. I'm going to square both sides. So I get X squared equals 25 cosine squared T. And I'm going to do the same thing for y. So I get y equals 3 sine t. I'm going to square both sides. And I get y squared is equal to 9 sine squared t. Okay. Everything we've done so far is totally math legal. Right? This is this is this is cool. We're good. It's okay. It's wonderful. Okay. Now I'm gonna come over here, give us a little more room to work with a fresh color. I'm gonna go with red, okay. I'm gonna get cosine squared by itself. So I'd have x squared divided by 25 is equal to cosine squared t. And I'll have do the same thing for the y here. y squared divided by nine is equal to sine squared t. If I add these two equations together, each side, I'm gonna get cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to one, right? And then I'll have, I'll keep these guys separate. Holy guacamole, Taco Thursday, yes. Yes, I waited till now, the end of the video, to say that. This right here is the equation of an ellipse centered at zero, zero, right? With a major axis of five, in a minor axis of three. Well, hot diggity dang, we certainly had something representing that in blue there. Major axis of five, or with the uh, going from five out, right? Um, the whole length would be 10. And then we have our minor going up three, down three, so full length of six. 
That's what I'm talking about. That was cool. That one, I mean, I wouldn't think that we would think about that one on our own necessarily, that the manipulation we did there with squaring both sides, thinking that far ahead to then add the cosine and sine together to give us one, right, using our Pythagorean identities. But it is all math legal and legit, right? No one's going to math jail here. Um, we are good to go. Awesome. Fantastic. So that's it. That's it for day one here. Uh, we're going to get into applications uh, in day two. But we just want to go through the mechanics of the whole thing today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. America, Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco, Yoro, River Dog Jenny on the gram. Shout out to Mr. Klein for being here, listening to me babble about parametric equations just like you guys did right now. See you.